Did you miss Casual Crossing videos? Well, Casual Crossing absolutely missed you. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel, but if you're new, hi, hello. I am Artsy over at the Artsy Gamer. I make art, I play games, and I encourage others to do the same. And uh, I am sick. I have been chronically losing my voice and having just a whole slew of daycare crud. So my voice sounds, I'm sure, amazing. And I'm really grateful that you are here, but we're having a truly casual gameplay day on my Casual Crossing Island Lagom. If you are new to the Casual Crossing challenge that I started back in January, the rules will be in the description below, but I will briefly put them up for you to just like screenshot or save or whatever. And I'm just going to say that these are more like guidelines instead of, you know, hard rules. I know that the term Terms like must and have to seem very daunting and intimidating but these are the rules that I play on the day-to-day -day because it's something that I'm enjoying doing and inviting other people to participate but again these are not rules they are guidelines suggestions to playing games differently and to be honest Casual Crossing has kind of bled over into other games that I've been playing, including Stardew Valley and also just in other Animal Crossing saves, but we'll get into that. And so because I'm not feeling well, I do actually just want to have a casual video. I do want to clean up the island a little bit before I submit it as an updated dream address. I do that every single month around the 9th. So hopefully by the time that this video is uploaded, you'll be able to see it in all of its bunny day glory because that's where we're at yeah full bunny day 100 percent what i love about 2024 is the fact that we've been able to have cherry blossom season and bunny day be completely separate and so by the time zipper t bunny the elder tour that we know and love left the island my trees just burst with pink and quite honestly the decorations that i had for bunny day really do suit the cherry blossom season it's just i don't like them together i don't know why but i have kept up the bunny day vibes for now because i thought it would be really pretty to save as a dream address but yeah let's like go around and let me show you what i have so far we have quite a bit of news since the last time that I posted a Casual Crossing Island. For example, we have a villager who has since left us. We also have a balloon over there. Hello, balloon. Uh, Goldie decided that she wanted to leave and I let her go. I'm not going to tell you who the new resident is. I'm going to reveal that at the very end of the video because after every single, you know, month of casual crossing, I share my screenshots that I found so fun and so hilarious. But I spent the last couple of weeks really decorating for Bunny Day. Like I went full ham with Bunny Day adding all of the DIYs that I could while it's still like, it didn't feel too overwhelming. It just, it felt like the villagers actually gave a crap about celebrating it. And so there's a lot of color that I would have never utilized. I'm not necessarily a pink person, but I really love the cherry blossom season in Animal Crossing. And I live in Korea, so a lot of the trees in my city are cherry blossom trees and just like this time of year is so rejuvenating and i decided that i wanted to start playing around with cohesive flower usage which meant i got rid of a lot of the different flowers that i had bred in place of just like a couple of the same coloring and i think i'm going to do that for the rest of the year by picking specific flowers to decorate for the seasons. So for the spring, I picked the, you know, the orange hyacinth, the yellow tulip, the pink mum, and the white cosmos. And so I'm really curious about what I'm going to be doing as I transition to summer, but I really am in awe with the fact that despite the fact my casual crossing island wasn't supposed to be a design island, like designing it 
or a, a theme in mind. It started becoming really cohesive when I started decorating for Bunny Day and when I started picking different flowers. And that led me to the decision with the new island that I'm working on to actually turn it into a design series of like how to design an island without like getting in your own way. I don't know, I just, I love the fact that specifically not having super thematic or like heavily terraformed or waterscaping in, on your island means that you can change things out as you want and see fit. But in the last couple of weeks, I was feeling really overwhelmed with the yard situation. And that's what we're going to be working on today is just taking a look at the yards of the various villagers and seeing what we can do to make it, you know, more of a yard, like with fencing and with items, because it just, that's where it feels really chaotic. And we have a present. All right, what did we get? It's a red balloon, so it can really be anything, but is it clothing? A counter table, you say? Let's see, what does this look like? Ooh, it's in yellow. I should send this to my yellow themed island. Yeah, let's do that. I'll hold on to that for myself. Oh, also, I kind of just like breezed over this, but this is the rock garden that I spent, I think, almost all of March or early March trying to figure out and do. I cannot tell you how many weeds that I used in order to make this happen, but this is going to be a permanent placement that I'm going to be changing out with certain items and flowers. And I was a little worried that it wouldn't like match, but my, my biggest Everest, aside from the villager yards right now, is going to be the museum because I officially, oh, I didn't even share this, hold on. So I have officially bred every single flower hybrid in the game. Uh, as of this week, I got the purple pansy. Like this took me so long. It was, it was such a diva. So now I'm going to be devoting a specific area for my blue rose project. And there's just a couple of places that I feel could be better. Like my campsite area could be better. Uh, this area, which I was planning on having become like a gyroid community. I'm, I'm not sure I'm doing it really well or doing it justice. So maybe that's something that we can work on. But I think I'm just delaying the inevitable. And I really should just pick a yard and do some decorating and, and figure out my next move over the next month with other videos. Also, this lag is nuts. So as I'm dealing with my inventory and trying to figure out like what I'm going to be doing for the day, I have seen a resurgence of just casual gameplay for Animal Crossing specifically. And I have been obsessed with Kay over at Kay Daisy's St. Rosie and Chill or Animal Crossing and Chill series where she is playing her game like we did in 2020. I'm really appreciating that I think we're bringing back a joy of I don't know what it is, just like, I, I feel that with people trying to get into this line of creativity, that they feel they have to do something different or, you know, immensely creative that no one's ever thought of before. And I think it's really important to also just normalize playing a game and enjoying it as opposed to feeling like you have to be doing something better than someone else in order to be seen. And to me, being able to watch people just do like casual game VODs, like that's the stuff I enjoy watching. I don't know about everyone else, but for me, I just think it's really fun to see people just playing the game and enjoying it. And I think what I want to do is start bringing that back to the casual crossing like videos because I think for the most part I have been trying to have something to say instead of just like playing the game. But I am delaying the inevitable and I really just need to pick a flipping yard.
Huh. I mean, some of these yards are kind of like, it's, it's, it's getting there, they're working on it, but I think what I wanna do is I wanna work on Stu's yard. And I have been thinking of saying goodbye to the man. I know, I know. I mean, I've had him, I've had this man on the island longer than I've had him ever. And I really do like Stu, okay? Like, don't, don't get it twisted. I really appreciate and love the fact that he's been a meme on my channel for years. But he's been, like, asking to leave a lot. And there was a point where I think he had asked to leave for, like, the third time. And I was like, you know what? If this man really wants to go that badly, maybe I should let him go. And ever since I started the new island, I've been feeling like maybe, maybe I should switch out do for Dizzy. And what is with the balloons today? They are just like up in my DMs, just being like, oh, hey, have you considered? Have you considered just like popping me when instead of like doing the work that you wanna do? But yeah, the, the yard situation has been a bit difficult because again, I had this goal to incorporate the villager happy home prompt and I think I have an idea of how to not make it ridiculous because at some point I'm going to have a villager that like wants a castle or wants some like sci-fi horror scheme and I'm not going to know how to make it work. And so I'm trying to think of what I can do to keep that vibe but also keep my island cohesive. It's something that I feel is important for those who are not really interested in designing but want to have a fully fleshed out island. It's like, this is, this is how you do it. You keep things cohesive and consistent and then the design kind of just, you know, it happens. But if I recall, Stu is the handyman, right? Like. He's the one who really likes DIY. I mean, he is my DIY guy on this island. And I was really enjoying the idea of having kind of like a workshop, but I also wanted to have something that had a separation from this farm area, which eventually I think I will be moving or moving down, I don't know. I did want to make sure that I had like a separation. And so I need to figure out what sort of fencing would go here and the gazebo would still make sense because I really like the gazebo here. So let's see what I have. Yeah, let's see what I have. I took out some fencing, but I think I want to try something else. I don't know if I have the the Plains Party Lights Arch available. I may have to order that. Yeah, I don't think I have it. Um, I do have a wood partition that would look really nice. So maybe we can try that. And we have quite a few plant partitions that would look nice in his area as well. We also have a storefront that we can add to the side. Maybe a sink. Maybe a sink would work. Do I want to change out the pergola with the, from the gazebo? We could try that. Uh, what else? What else? I'm not going to be putting the decay trees back until I upload the dream address because I have the bunny day trees replacing them. But what else? What else would be something that's like super creative that we can decorate with? I may have to look into some DIY stuff too. Okay, so I do have quite a few things that I'm going to just tinker with. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, Robin from Stardew Valley situation and put a stone ax right here because his happy home prompt has a lot to do with like smelling trees or something. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this like an impromptu workshop, but I do need to remember 
that the goal for today isn't to actually decorate the villagers yards it's to add like the fencing borders that i want to like incorporate into their their build so we're just going to do some you know slight slight decorating and not worry about it and i'm telling myself this now because it's really hard to not like want to go full ham because that's not the video that's not what we're doing today do I not have firewood? Oh, that stinks. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I'll have to be on the lookout for that. But let's put, I would say, the wooden toolbox. Yeah, like right here for now. And then maybe we can put the ladder here, maybe. Like he's getting ready to like work on his house or something. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that'll be fine. I have been putting the villagers' photos in front of their house, but I may be taking that down eventually. I haven't I haven't decided. So for those who place the villager photos in their yard, like how do you how do you do that and make it look pretty? I need to know. I have been putting like specific gyroids, like once they arrive on the island, I've been putting gyroids that are unique to them. So I want to keep that, but maybe, maybe I should really just take down their photos and put them in the house, maybe. Oh man, I'm having a really hard time with this. I'm having a really hard time with this. Would the stone fencing work? Let's take a look. Oh, the space though. That gap though. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. Hmm. We're just gonna have to do our favorite, our favorite DIY in the game. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not an artsy gamer island without some delightful, lovely log snakes everywhere. And maybe what we can do is we can probably switch it out with the hedge fencing. Do I have hedge fencing available to me? Let's check. Oh, I do. See, what does this look like? What is with this gap, y'all? I don't understand. Also, what's with like the spacing? N no. What? I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, is it? Is it just? Is it me? Am I the problem? Am I the drama? I guess I am the drama. Huh. So it would have to be like. Something would have to go here, right? Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to make this space like it's the entrance, right? We're gonna make this intentional. And we're gonna do that. And then, you know what we could do? We could probably add a garden rock at the end after I find the other log stake. Yeah. Oh, that looks so much better. Yeah, let's add a garden rock. And we will just make it super rocky. Let's not customize, because that's not what I'm trying to do. Wow, the balloons. Like, am I going to get the golden slingshot today? I feel really bad because the whole goal for Casual Crossing was to earn a you know, the DIYs for the axe and the shovel, like for all of the different um, tools. But because I participated in the Lost Race, I just got the DIY. I feel a little bit bad. I don't feel super bad, but I feel a little bit bad about it. And really, that's kind of like the point. It's, it's whatever brings you joy of how you want to play the game. And honestly, I don't really care about the tools, I've realized. I just wanted to make sure that I worked toward completing the museum and like doing like all that I could to really make the most out of playing the game. Now, here's the other question. What if I put Stu's photo on here? Oh, that, oh okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Yeah, okay. So I think I can do more with this, but for now, for now, this is really nice. And 
you can navigate it, you can go through different entrances, you can go through here, okay. All right, so that is one house designatedly, decidedly, you know, complete for a dream address to, to peruse. So now we have our girl Maddie. Now, this is okay. I feel like it could be better. And I think what I want to do is I do want to get a couple of customization kits and maybe utilize the like the simple fencing, the, the small one that we get from Tom Nook at the very beginning and customize it in white. And we can probably start putting that everywhere because I'm not trying to have all the yards be the same. And I do want to play around with incorporating different fencing for the like the different yards. But I honestly was sitting on this island going, I don't know how to make this look cohesive if I'm going to make their yards unique to their happy home prompt. And again, you don't have to use the specific items that they ask in their happy home prompts. I'm definitely not. But I was like, how do I utilize, for example, Vesta's request for like, I think it's a home with a fireplace or something. And then I realized there is a beautiful fire pit item that I can definitely put out in her area because that would be perfect for her. So I do think that we can make it work. It's just, I don't know. There are certain parts of the island where I just, I feel very lost of what I want to do. And I'm definitely not feeling beach campsite right now. I think I do want to move it somewhere else, but I don't know where to put it. The other sad thing was I was really looking forward to having this be like Goldie's Bakery after I figured out where to move these flowers because I loved the idea of having like a little bakery that people can go up and, and purchase their their daily bread from. And I, I was just, I was super bummed, but I was also kind of okay with, with Goldie leaving. I was disappointed, but I think it was time for her to go. And also just, I am really working on not having two of the same species on the island at any given point. I like to have variety with that. Uh, I mean, except for like Fang and Kyle, but again, Kyle has been an interesting addition to the island. I honestly thought that we would be getting more drama from him. And for the entire month, the man basically behaved himself until Goldie was leaving. And remember, I told you in the last video or like the last live stream that Goldie doesn't necessarily have a type. She has a preference with like, like the housing and where it was. And so she and Buck were together. And then like she and Kyle, I guess, had a thing. And so as she was leaving, like she was in boxes and I went to go say goodbye and I come out of the house and I kid you not, Kyle runs up to me and he says, I love you. And I'm going, uh, uh, okay, thanks. And so it's like, I think, I think he thought I was, you know, Goldie stepping out for like a breather from packing because it was, it was an awkward time for everybody, mostly him. It was very embarrassing, but um, it, it, it was, it was, I, I don't know what he thought he was going to, to get from that, but yeah, it was, it was wild. It was wild. All right, let's put like this flower right here. And let's put this right here. And I don't know how I feel about this. There's like a lot of empty space back here that I think could be better suited with something else. I mean, does the pergola fit back here? Let's see. Does the pergola fit back here? I mean, the pergola does absolutely fit back here and it is really cute. It's a little too tall though. What? Seriously, these balloons, man. When you just like decide to design, 
the balloons keep coming, and then when you're looking to like actually get balloons, they don't show up. I I feel like it's a conspiracy. It really is. We got uh which dolly is it? Because some dollies are a little bit more cursed than others. Okay, that's not as cursed. That's not as cursed. I don't know where to put this fencing though, and I don't know how I feel about the pergola, especially with removing the uh, the street land. So I think we're gonna put that back. Yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit at a loss, friends, of what to do with. Just like setting a boundary back here. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I mean, could I, could I do, could I do this? Like, does this look cute? No, that doesn't look cute. Um, no. Does, does this look cute? No. Hmm. 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 Maybe, okay, you know, maybe I can actually add some different flower types. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do have a garden wagon. Oh wait, is that a new bug? Hold on, hold on. Girly, I need you to not move. Yes. Awesome. Did, is this new? It's not new. Darn. Sorry, I took away your your fascination. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, I do have I have a garden wagon, and I can probably customize it in green or something. I think that would be really cute. Yeah, let's try that. But first, let's like manage my inventory. Um. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the pergola for a minute. Um, we're gonna put that away. I, we, we're gonna deal with that later. Um, destination signpost will hold on to that. Wooden partition will hold on to that. Yeah, let's take a look at what the garden wagon looks like in green. Because I think it's a little bit darker than the current green that we have on the island. And this is the day that I'm going to be saving the dream address on. So let's see. The white is cute too. And it does have the matching color scheme then instead of this one. Although, I do have orange and pink as well. No, we'll do this one. We'll do this one. It's very wedding chic, but we, we can do it. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Again, I fell into the trap of like, we're not gonna be decorating. And you know what I'm doing? I'm decorating. <laughs> but there's just some places on this island that are very empty and just feel really chaotic. And yeah, there we go. That's really nice. It also matches her house really well too. Okay. Yeah, that's really cute. That's really cute. Was there something else? I think, I think for realism's sake, I do eventually want to grab a bunch of trash cans, not the steel trash cans that I've turned into uh, mailboxes, but I do think I want to start adding like trash everywhere, which is hilarious to say, but it's it really nice to add a little bit of realism to your islands this way. So I think we'll do this and then maybe we'll do, where's the other one? Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, that's cute, okay. And then maybe we can add some like recycling or something. And we have another garbage bin. Maybe I can put his garbage bin. Oh, where can I put it? I can probably put it like right here. Or no, what I was going to do, here's what I was gonna do. I was gonna put it all in a row. Yeah, so let's put this here. Yep. And then let's put this here. Yeah, much better. And then we can put this flower here. And then we can put 
this flower here, and I believe, oh my goodness, wait, hear me out. I believe that I have a paper stack that I can turn into scattered papers and I can put that there. So let's either that or maybe like boxes. Do I have small boxes that I can turn into something else? I also have the cardboard sofa. Mm, I don't know. I can't believe I'm, I'm doing the thing that I said I wasn't going to do. I'm just like, Artsy, stop decorating. And then of course I say, no, but here, um, you know what? No, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna leave it as is. And I think what we're gonna do is we are going to add a bit of texture with some weeds maybe. Yeah, some weeds. And you know, it's not it's not complete and it could be better, but there's more stuff with it, you know, so it's not as empty. And this looks a lot better too. All right. So that's done. I really love the fact that by playing Animal Crossing and signifying like villagers have left and like using the truck and using these boxes it's been really fun so if that's something that you like playing out and i honestly feel it's going to add something really unique to the dream address so i'm pretty excited for that i think what we're gonna do as much as i really like this yard it's a it's a little bit of a lot so we're going to clean this up and I'll deal with it later. I did end up giving her specific flowers and I think I definitely want to incorporate that as I like build up the island a little bit. And you're probably saying, Artsy, your, your island's pretty decked out. And I agree, but there's a difference between having it be decked out and being like intentional and, and cohesive. And for the most part, there's some areas that are just not they're not, and I, I definitely want to be better about that. I've also been just like watching people with their live streams recently, like that are doing more Animal Crossing stuff when I'm able to watch them. And Lex over at Lex Play had this really cool idea, and I don't know if it's just like new to me or just super obvious, but it's like putting some flowers with a little bit of dirt path underneath. And so it's like, this is a garden, but this is the natural like flora, you know? So it feels already like, oh, she's planting black tulips. How cool. I have the simple wooden fencing that I do want to like do something with. So maybe can I like do that? No, that looks silly. That looks so silly. Uh, I do. I do actually kind of like having this closed off like that. Now the question is, can you like sit? No, no. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move all of this over here. Should I just like take down the photos and let people be pleasantly surprised who's on my island? Should I do that? You know, I kind of want to keep this open like this is mostly her yard. What I could do is that once I change out the shrubs, I can put the shrub here. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, that looks a little bit better too. Yeah, yeah. All right, now with Kyle, do I want his yard to like be here like this? I feel like that's a little too aggressive. Like, because we have the mailboxes for both Static and Kyle right here. And then we have one for Matilda. Honestly, his area feels like it's fine as is, but I have been wanting to add a little bit more barriers and borders. But honestly, maybe just having Matilda's with the fencing and this being a little bit more open feels like it makes sense. Like maybe some yards would be more curated and others can be left alone. Yeah, you know what, you know what? We're not gonna worry about this. This also looks really pretty, but I am glad that we did it this way. 
Yeah, this looks a lot better. I also have never really used this fence until late last year in 2023. I'm kind of obsessed. Now, back here is a bit of an issue because I have been wanting to utilize Static's Happy Home Prompt, which is basically like an Indiana Jones situation. But I think what I want to do is I think I want to move the cave down and then I don't know. I'm, I'm really struggling with this one in particular. And Static, honestly, is going to be leaving at some point. Like, as much as I love the man, I think I'm ready for him to leave. I think, I think I'm also, as I said, ready for Stu to leave because he's asked to leave multiple times. Are you serious? We don't, wait, do we not have space? Please tell me we have space. Really? We don't have space here. No way. No way. Wow. I mean, an option is that I just move this down one, but... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I may just need to, like, clean it up a little bit and not worry about it. But he does have kind of, like, an adventurer's vibe, right? So... Yeah. This, this back area in particular has been very hard for me because... I want to have this be super forested and I want this to have like a bamboo experience without it being Eastern inspired, but I also want this to have a border. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's either fencing or if it's, you know, another partition item, but I definitely want to make sure that this is like covered. Right, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure about this one. Statics area in particular is the one that I, I've been really struggling with. The others are not going to be a problem because I know what I want to do with them, but uh, not quite sure, not quite sure. I mean, okay, how silly would this be? Out of curiosity. What if I just got a bunch of these, right? Like a bunch of these and then put shrubs everywhere. Like, is that, would that be too weird? You know what we're gonna do? Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to make a couple of them. I'm going to regret this because it's going to use up so many of my my dear sweet stones. But I think, I think we're gonna give it a try. So let's get out. I think I'm going to need 180 stone to make two, right? So let's see, how many do I have? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, never mind. For wacky doodle reasons, we're just gonna put it right here because I have a clear spot. But what if we put the stone arches together like this? How close can we make this? Can we make it super close? Oh, we can. Okay. And then, you know, if, if I like this, not for this island, I may apply it to the, uh, the yellow solar punk island. Oh, this is probably a little bit more uh, prehistoric, but let's like see how this goes, right? And whether or not, no, listen. And whether or not this was a really bad idea. Okay. I actually don't hate that. Now, okay, so what would it look like if it was behind? Okay, so let's try having the hedges behind. I mean, is this is this too much? I feel like it may be too much back here, but I definitely want there to be a border, right? And a boundary, and seriously, this Joy-Con drift is just driving me bananas. Have you all gotten your uh, Princess Peach Switch Joy-Cons yet? Because, I mean, they're cute, but again, I'm not like a paying person, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get them. But considering that two 
of my three like joy cons are just not working um honestly i think i like these behind more than i like them in the front personally but i kind of like the idea of having it back here maybe let's let's give it a try this is probably ridiculous you're probably like artsy what are you doing this is this is not the vibe this is not the vibe don't do this but i kind of i kind of want to see you know i kind of want to see maybe maybe not <laughs> maybe not maybe not up here maybe something that's like back here oh, i was really wanting this to work but i mean okay okay wait okay wait okay wait hold on i mean no no it's not gonna work i was really wanting this to work i could probably put this with the other island i think what i may end up doing is like just doing the plains party light arch thing here with some fencing but yeah this this empty area has been a pain in the tukus the tush for a long time for me and i'm not quite sure what to do about it because here it's lush and then here it's empty do I have a, I don't know, do, do I have a, a tree that I can put here? I can probably get a couple more trees to, to fill in and go on a cabin's tour, but yeah, no, this, this is the one that I'm really struggling with right now. Yeah, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it alone for a bit. We're gonna sit with it and we're gonna move on to the other remaining villagers on the island. Now, the goal I had for Olivia was to create like a lavender farm. Her happy home prompt has something to do with like being in the land of Nod or something. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to do what I did over at Matilda's place. And we're gonna add a couple of dark dirt paths and then replant them. And I think that's going to look a lot more intentional. Oh yeah, like look at that. Look at that. Super cute, super cute. Okay, we're gonna put that one here. And then that one here. I'm still in the process of breeding them myself, but I think putting down a couple of like dark dirt pathing will help with showing that no, these were specifically planted for a reason. Yeah, no, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be cute. And in the back, like, again, I'm not, I'm not like decorating, decorating yet, or I'm trying not to, but I was thinking of putting like a little uh, campsite here, like with the, the kids tent and giving her like a little reading area for her to enjoy. I think this area is the one that I'm most excited to see like come together because originally her, her happy home prompt that I got the inspiration from, I was like, I don't know if I can make it work like this, you know? So I'm, I'm looking forward to making it a little bit larger and it's probably an indication that uh, she's one of my favorites because her yard is enormous. And I don't tell Kyle because it's not the same for him, but the fact that I have been able to give villagers such different width of yards and stuff has been really nice instead of making it cookie cutter and again like the cookie cutter vibe is fine but what i have been appreciating about casual crossing is just being willing to tinker and make mistakes and being like eh, i don't know the other option as i'm looking at this i can just apply this down i can just do that i do really like how that looks back here and it is very simple and elegant and I can do other things with it. You know what I could do? I had a light bulb moment. Instead of trying to make it super tall, we, we do this pattern by statics, but behind it, it's going to be the wheat fields that I have in my inventory right now. And then, so it looks like it's not super busy and super tall. It does feel very lush back there. Yeah, 
Yeah, why don't we try that after I finish doing this? I'm not gonna tell you how long it took me to put down all of these squares, but I really do like making it look like I actually intentionally put down these flowers. And based on the design I did for her prompt, I think I have a way to really make this look nice. But having this be just empty, I feel like it it looks okay for now. And it looks like I will be working on it, so I'm not, I'm not terribly worried about it. But let's get back to this situation right here. And since I already have it lined up this way, may, maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can make it work. Let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We're gonna put this somewhere else. And this area also is very empty. And I'm thinking about going to a Cap'n Island to like get some more trees. But I was planning on doing some stunted tree action. And unfortunately, due to time travel shenanigans, I uh, it, it it did not work. I'm not sure what color I want the wheat fields to be because I know that around spring and summer, the green coloration looks super nice. But I think what I'm gonna do is just see how it looks in one color. Actually, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna take this one too, just so that I can take a look at it. And we're going to put it behind the fencing and see how we feel about it. So let's do that. Of course, my pockets are full. And let's do this. Okay. All right. I'm kind of obsessed already. I do really like the pale grass. But I think what I'm going to do is again we're just we're just putting this down and then by the time i save the dream address i'll have decided what color i'm going to pick for it and uh hopefully it'll it'll make sense with what i'm trying to do i really do like the fact that it covers this back area so well i really do like that and what we can do is we can stop it like I don't know, maybe right here? Maybe? Yeah, maybe we can like stop it right here. And either it curves this way, or it keeps going until we get to here. So uh, let's try that. And I think the pattern that I was doing was one, two, one. Okay, so let's try that. And then we can put like, I don't know what we can put here, but maybe we can move the shrubs so it's like right here instead. I mean, already, that looks so much better in my personal opinion. Now the question is, do I have holly bushes available to me? I probably don't. I probably used all of them, which means we need to go to leave. It is the start of a new week, which means he may have new shrubs that I, I didn't see before. Of course. Of course. Love that for me. Love that for me. Love that for me. But the question is, do I want to continue just like putting this down all the way? So let's see, one, two. One, two. Honestly, 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 I'm... I'm kind of okay with it like that. Mm hmm No, this, I think this will work really well. I'm going to have to get so many, so many wheat fields though. Like, look how many wheat fields this is going to be. And the lag on my island is just bonkers at this point because specifically of the shopping district. And I was super proud of that shopping district. And I still am very proud of that shopping district. But I definitely feel like I need to do something different with that but oh yeah no this this definitely fits the vibe a lot better and it means that i can fill up the space with more natural stuff instead of really worrying about all of these wacky items so let's go to leaf and see if he has 
any holly bushes, which, oh, how am I gonna save the dream address if, okay, okay. You know, I have had enormous luck lately with the amazing RNG gods. Like with my new map reroll, I got my OG 2020 map. I got villagers that I've never had before, all yellow or yellow equivalent. And wait, where, what happened to my, did I leave my storage? I, of course I left my storage. So maybe a Cap'n Island will send me to a winter one or I don't know. Oh, it's literally right here. Okay, we're gonna go to Leaf first and then we're gonna go to Cap'n and then we're going to see what the other villagers are, are doing. Because I got rid of all of my flower beach situation, that meant that I unfortunately got rid of my orange pansies, which I had quite a bit of. And so I'm trying to figure out, and maybe you all can help me with this, like I want to show that I bred all of those flower colors, you know, but I don't have the space for it. So should I put them in various parts of like the island where it's empty? Should I have a designated flower area? There is that spot in front of resident services that has mostly like, it's mostly trees and flowers there already. It's like a small little meadow with the big elephant balloon thing and the, uh, the Ferris wheel. So maybe what I could do is since June is Pride Month, that I could put all of my flowers there in the color of the rainbow and, and do it that way and just leave it there. But I also like the idea of having it specific to certain flowers, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've, been, I've been dealing with that. And I think, I think I have that one already. Wait, do I have that one already? Hold on, we, we gotta like search the booty for a minute. In the past couple of months, I think, aside from my fossil being completed, this is the earliest my my art exhibit has been completed. So that's been really fun. Leaf, please tell me that you have Holly available. Please, please, Holly. The plumeria wouldn't be bad though. I have been putting the plumeria along the edges because I feel like it's really beachy. Uh, mm, no. Do we think that Cap'n will send me to a winter wonderland? But also, yeah, me, no, this is not enough space, I think, for all the, the flower types, right? I'm trying to think of like how many flowers there are in total. This may be too small, but I also can like move these somewhere and then just put all of the flowers in this area. I could do that. I could do that, but I really love how I extended the shopping district down over here. And it's like, it has peach desserts because that's my native fruit. And we have like the flowers here with the cherry blossoms like, I have been super inspired by just having little districts where it's clear that the villagers are doing something and they're able to actually interact with it. I've been really loving that. But again, do we think that Cap'n is going to send us somewhere nice, somewhere cold, somewhere with a lot of holly? That would be amazing. Could we do that? And it's not the island I need, unfortunately. Oh man, if there was... Bring back hybrid flower islands, Nintendo, because I would have loved to have had an orange one, and then I could move Vesta's whole flower situation and put it somewhere else. But yeah, no, unfortunately, we don't have that available. So we just have to do the, the, the next logical thing. It occurs to me that I have like construction sign things where I can show that like, hey, be careful, we're, we're working on stuff. So let's put the cone here. Yeah, let's put the cone here. And we can put the other cone here. 
Yeah, let's put the other cone here. And then we can put like the under construction sign literally right here. Yeah, no, like there you go. I didn't even have to do anything, but I've also been considering, because I do have a lot of the evergreen trees available or the evergreen ash, that I could do this as well. Like splitting it between the shrubs and the trees. I don't know how, 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 like, how that's going to look with it. So that may be something that I play with off camera and like over the course of the month of April and May. But I also don't hate that. I also don't hate that. I'll consider it. I'll think about it. Okay, so the laziest thing that I ever could consider doing has been done. Although this does mean that you can't walk this way very easily. Oh wait, you can walk... You can walk around here. I keep forgetting you can like go around things in this game. So that is done for now and I'm okay with it. And now the final three villagers, AKA my favorite villagers aside from Olivia. Uh, oh my gosh, look at you. Look at you, just look at you. You are the cutest villager. How are you doing? I read that sitting like this is the best way to work your core muscles. Oh, you mean like focusing on your posture, unclenching your jaw, friends? I'm sure a lot of you are feeling stressed right now. So, Honestly, okay, I do like how this looks and maybe we're going to do like what I did with Matilda and Kyle where maybe, maybe Antonio doesn't have fencing, but our boy Feng does. And Olivia's going to have a little bit of fencing because I've been adding a little bit here, right? But what to do? about this right now. Honestly, I may just have to leave this and be okay with how it looks, but I was really hoping to get more done with this being dream address ready, but the whole point of casual crossing, to be quite honest, is that the works in progress is celebrated and I'll get to this eventually. I feel that once this whole situation is done and I've finished the pansies, I will have a designated area for the Blue Rose project that I'll be doing. I think this is dream address ready. I think, I think it's ready for the most part. A lot of it is empty, especially right here. I do need to clean this up, but I think for now we're going to leave it for the dream address. And I really hope that you enjoy visiting. I have had a really fun time just updating the dream address monthly. And there are some places that I feel could be improved, but that's kind of life, you know? A lot of the things I'm really enjoying. Hopefully by the end of June, I will have a place to put all of my flowers because I do want to make this an actual path that has I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm just I'm just here. I just work here. It's it's whatever. But yeah. 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 I'm really excited. So I guess this is where we're going to say goodbye. And I will be having a screenshot slideshow of all the things that I did. And just a reminder, this is what you're going to see as it's saved and you'll be able to see who the newest resident is either by visiting the dream address or just tuning in to the very end of this video and check out my house because it is fully decorated uh, the newest project that i was working on is a bed and breakfast so with each month from now on my goal is to change out the two bed and breakfast rooms by theme so i want you to check out the themes and i hope that you can recognize like what the themes that i was going for and honestly i'm just kind of rambling at this point but yeah i hope that wherever you are that you are being kind to yourself that you're being kind to others and that you make art and play games and encourage others to do the same and I'll catch you next time. Bye.